Hey you guys, I got a jewelry jar from Savers. I'm so excited. So before we get into the jewelry jar, here are my ordering instructions. In case you see anything in this video you would like to purchase, this is how you do so. So I will leave this here for a couple seconds. You can take a screenshot if you would like. And this information is also located down in the description box. The most important part of the instructions, please check the sold list pinned down in the comment section before emailing. Please refresh the video after watching to get the most up-to-date list. So go out of the video, come back in, and you will see the most up-to-date list. All right, so before we get into this jewelry jar, I am going to do a little bit of a clearance section. And I'm going to show some jewelry that I've either recently shown and it didn't sell, we're gonna drop the price, or maybe a few pieces that it's been a while since I've shown it, but we're still gonna lower the price. So, let's jump right into it. I'm Kristen D with Another Chance Resale. I'm a full-time reseller, and we're gonna get started right now with a Joan Rivers necklace. So this is all acrylic. It is very long. Joan Rivers makes excellent quality jewelry. If I can get her name to show there. And what's cool about this necklace is it's not just a string in between, it's an actual chain. So that's pretty cool, very well made. You got all these really pretty acrylic beads in all different colors and sizes. There is an extension. Um, without the extension, the drop on it is 18 inches. And I'm going to offer this for $15. Okay. Then we have this guy. So this was recently shown in my last live auction. This is a beautiful uh, Maltese cross and rhinestone brooch by uh, Nicholas and Alexandra. And it's also a pendant. It is in beautiful condition. And there's one listed on eBay right now for $50. Um, I'm gonna offer this one to you guys for 20. Okay, that's a really pretty, um, you know, the phoenix in there or, or whatever you wanna call the, that guy. And you got the green enamel as well and it is gorgeous. There's no wear on it, and it is just beautiful. So 20 on that. Then I also, in that same auction, had shown this brooch. This is signed. This is a Walter Lamp. So there's the WL for Walter Lamp. 1 20th, 12 karat gold filled. These are all, the price on these are all over the place. Um, there is a little bit of wear deep down in the brooch down there. Um, they range anywhere from like 35 to 150, depending on the size and complexity of the brooch. I will offer this one to you guys for $18. All right, then we had... Then we had the gala or gala. Um, it depends on how you want to pronounce it. It is French and it is the full name is Galileth or Galileth. Um, this is an early plastic. It was actually created after Bakelite. Um, it was really created around the same time. Um, there's definitely a lot of articles on the web that state that this was created in the late 1800s and then Bakelite was created around 1907. Um, but then there's articles that it came out in the 1920s. So, you know, who really knows? Um, but this is an early form of plastic, very similar to Bakelite, um, but it will not test as Bakelite with the semi-chrome. So I do have one of these in my jewelry collection and I am trying to downsize my jewelry collection, um, so this I was offering at my last live sale as well. And um, this one is a shorter necklace, so I'm not sure if anyone would actually be able to wear it. It's only 14 inches, but it's just something really cool to have in your jewelry collection as a part of early history, you know, uh, late 1800s, early 1900s. 
Um, I don't remember what I was, I think I was offering this for, oh geez, like 35 or 40. Um, I'm going to just drop it to 30 because that's even less than what I paid for it. Um, so $30 and you guys can have this gala or gala necklace. Okay, then we have, speaking of Bakelite, I do have this that I will offer you guys. This is a Bakelite brooch um, carved into the name Carol. So this is really great as a part of history as well, or if your name is Carol. Um, so this one I will do for $20. Really cool. Um, okay, then we have, so I didn't get to show this at my last live auction. This is a um, Swarovski Chanel necklace. And uh, in the 1950s, um, Swarovski and, oops, it's upside down. Swarovski worked with Coco Chanel. And they made, they came up with this necklace. They have a bunch of different sizes, uh, you know, lengths and a bunch of different colors. So this is the blue crystal with the gold plating and there's no clasp on it uh, this this one actually came from my personal closet and it is a 16 inch drop no clasp it is in excellent condition and it's not spelled like chanel it's spelled c-h-a-n-e-l-l-e -L -L -E. and these are still active online on the swarovski website for 90 dollars um, I will offer this one to you guys for 25 Okay. And then I also have this necklace. Uh, this I've shown a couple times during live shows, and um, it just hasn't sold, so I will drop the price a little bit for you guys. Um, it is sterling silver, tiger's eye, marcasite, on a sterling silver chain, and it's got like a carving of a scarab on it. Um, the bail also has marcasite. It is an eight and a half inch drop. It is marked on the back. Thailand and 925. So for this one, I will ask um, $30. Okay. All right, then we had these hematite necklaces were shown in a video um, probably like two or three weeks ago, and the person that claimed them never paid. So um, I reached out to them, you know, with a personal email, no answer. I sent reminder invoices, no answer. I have a 48-hour payment policy, um, so after 24 hours, I send out a reminder invoice. After 48 hours, I email the, you know, I'll email you personally to make sure everything's okay. And then if I still don't get a response um, by the third day, your invoice will be canceled and you will have a strike against you. Um, I have a new policy in effect as of a couple weeks ago, two strikes and you're, you're out for good. You know, I'm a business. I have to protect myself as well. Um, so these are back up for sale. I think I was offering them for, for $6 a piece. I'll drop them down to $5 a piece. Eight inch drop, nine inch drop, eight inch drop. So this one has some uh, tiger's eye on it with the heart. This one has the pink cat eye, and this has some blue um, stones glass. And they all have the screw barrel clasp, except for this one and they're all in good condition. Okay, now that that's out of the way, we can open the jewelry jar. Let me throw this on the screen really fast again in case you guys missed it in the beginning or fast forwarded through the beginning. Here's how you place an order. And let's jump into the jewelry jar. Now, if you guys have been following me for a while, you will know that I happen to go on I happen to go to Savers on a certain day of the week because that's just how my schedule is, is made. Um, and there is a woman that comes there and she is waiting outside online like an hour before they open. And she literally runs in when they open and grabs all the jewelry jars that she possibly can fit in her little arms. 
and um, I've been able to get them only because they've had four at once and she can only gobble up three of them. Um, so I just, you know, walk by and just swipe the fourth from the counter and keep on moving. So that's what I did with this one. She had three of them gobbled up in her arms when she went to go run for a cart. So I swiped this one and it doesn't look very promising. Um, it was only $10.99, so, but the last one I got, if you guys remember, it didn't look very promising and it actually turns out, turned out pretty good. So let's dive into this one and hope for the best. So let me cut into it. And it's not even filled all the way, which kind of stinks, but, you know, at this point, beggars can't be choosers, and I really should try going to Savers on a different day of the week, but um, I just, it's just how I have my schedule, and I only go on a certain day, so we'll have to see if I can switch that up at some point. Okay, so let's back you up a little bit. See, that looks interesting. Look at this. And I did see this sticking out on the side of the jar. So that's, um, you know, I kind of thought that was pretty cool. But since I didn't really have a choice in which jar I got, <laughs> I just got grabbed one. So I at first I thought this would have been Bakelite, but it's not. I think it's wood. Um, and it's a W. It's um, a brooch. It's kind of cute. Uh, we'll do that for $4. All right, then we got this little guy. That's a little earring, we'll hold on to that. That's an earring, we'll hold on to that one. That's a little, these little beads. Oh wait, I just saw the necklace that it's broken from. Okay, so this is, oh wait, no, that's something different, okay. So all these are going into craft. They're those little paper beads. Here's a paper bead bracelet. It says bead for life. The, the stretch is not very good on that. It'll just be a dollar in crafting. We have a United We Stand um, little ribbon here, little tack pin. I don't see any maker marks on it. So um, we'll just do that for a dollar. Now this was on the top here. See, look at this and it doesn't even come with the pin to close it. This would have been really pretty. Look at it. Look how pretty that is. Am I, let's make sure we're doing a focus check here. Made in India. San Umvi. Yeah, that's really pretty. We can, we can hang on to it and see if the pin turns up. Um, so let's just keep going. So we got a tangle. Here's an earring though. That's pretty, we'll hold on to that. Okay. This is a, I think this is gonna be a multi-strand necklace and these always get tangled up. So let me see if I can get it. All right, I think I got it. So this one, this one's actually cute. There's no maker marks on it, but let's see if I can do a drive by here. It's got one layer right here with a like white, like an off white triangle. Then you got a little, let me put that in the middle here, a little shark tooth. And then the last layer is a bigger shark tooth. That's pretty cool. I like it. It's in good condition. It has an extender, but at but without it, the first layer is at seven inches, nine inches, and then seventeen inches. So let's do um, five bucks on that. That's kind of cool. All right, let's see what this is. This is cute. Ooh, that's actually pretty. So this is. It's got all of these really pretty different color rhinestones. I'm trying to see if they're all here. 
I think that they're all here. It's so dainty. I don't see any markings on it. It is a gold tone. It's in very good condition. And the total length on it is 14 and a half inches. Um, that's really pretty. Let's do that for $6. All right, this is a magnetic long strand. You can wear it as a bracelet, wrap it up. You can wear it as a necklace. It is um, acrylic. These pink stones are acrylic along with the silver. So we'll do that for $4. A lot of, um, it looks like a lot of Indian style jewelry. So this is a little bracelet, really tiny. So it's got red seed beads with the gold tone. It's only a four and a half inch. We'll do that for $4. This, I mean, it doesn't have a key. It doesn't even open or anything, so I'm not exactly sure what was going on with this, but there is a lot of wear on it, so we're going to put that in craft for a dollar. All right, let's get this big, this big guy out of the way. So let me see what exactly this is. All right, so it is a long red seed bead necklace there's no clasp there's just this um, braided part up top it seems like it's in good shape though it's a 15 inch to 20 inch drop because of the layering of the beads so I'll do that for five dollars you guys might want to repurpose the beads and then we got this so this is actually really nice Oh, I think it's broken, but that says 925 on it. Let's see. Yeah, so I might be Why does why is why is the thumb so short? I do have sterling clasps that I can switch this out. I do, I do. That has a little bit of glue res residue there. Um, I wonder though if these this part is sterling. So let's see. The clasp says sterling, but what about these? Oh geez, I can't even get a scratch on that. Let's see if that does anything. Um, mm, no, didn't do anything. Kind of weird that they would put a sterling clasp on a regular silver tone necklace. Um, yeah, I'm not really able to get any type of sterling reading, so just a little weird that they would that there's going to be a sterling clasp. Um, I can replace the sterling clasp, but I don't know what this thing is doing. It's kind of got a mind of its own over here. So. Um, it's, it looks like it's going to be a 16-inch necklace. I'm just going to do this for a dollar because it's it's got this bend in it. Um, and I'm not going to replace the clasp if it's just going to be a dollar. So that's that. This is a little infinity um, bracelet that says music. Mm, this is kind of coming a little bit tattered. So that's going to be a dollar as well. Here is a silver tone bracelet. Yep, just silver tone, but it is in good condition. Um, these spring ring clasps date to 1950 and prior, so definitely vintage. It is a seven and a half inch bracelet, and we'll do that for $5. All right, let me get some of these beads off of here because I don't need them on my floor. Okay, as I think I heard two of them go on the floor. 
All right, try not to get the whole jar out. Let's just do a little bit. Stuff the rest of that back in there. <laughs> here's more of those paper beads. Oh yes, here's this mate. All right, so these are really cool. Look at these. These have like a Greek key design. They are, I think they're just gold tone. I do see a little bit of wear on them. Let's see. Oh yeah, okay. So just gold tone. Um, it's not wear to the point where it looks weird. I think it actually looks pretty nice. Um, it kind of makes it look vintage. And these are really nice hoops. Um, let's do these for $6. Those are really, really pretty. All right, let's try to get this big guy out of here. Okay, got it. So this is, I don't know what is going on with the end of that, but it's just a plastic um, yellow with a little bit of an Aurora Borealis to it super long. Um, I'll do this for $2 if somebody wanted to repurpose with that. Um, okay, so we're not going to do anything with this. Look at all that wear. So that's a dollar. Ooh, this looks pretty. Look at that. These are definitely some type of stone, quartz or agate. And then you got the pretty blinged out cross. Stretch is really good on it, so let's do that for five. This is a little abalone heart. Friends Forever, L-A-C-N. So that's cute, kind of like an Alex and Ani style. A little bit of wear though, so we'll just do that for $3. Then you got this guy. This I think is just silver tone, yep. So we'll just do that for a dollar. All right, we seem to have a bit of a tangle here, so. Try to get out as much as possible. Let's unclasp this. Okay, got it. Now, this looks like it's probably an eye. Or a T, not really sure. It's a matte gold tone. It's like the the crooked the crooked letter. <laughs> yeah, I don't see anything on the chain. It is in good condition. It has an extender, but without it, it's a ten inch drop. So we'll do that one for four dollars. This is a little um, angel with like a green, greenish blue little um, heart there in the center. Has a little bit of wear. The chain though looks good and the chain says NWT, which I believe is Avon. It's got a teeny little bit of wear overall. It's an eight inch drop. So let's do this for $4. Another one we'll have to unclasp to untangle. Okay. Ooh, this is kind of cute. Look at that. So this is, I believe it's just silver tone, no maker marks. Definitely gonna need a little bit of a cleaning on the chain, but it's got these really pretty like brownish beige um, enamel pieces here. And I mean, it's got a teeny bit of wear up toward the clasp. It's a seven and a half inch drop without the extender. So we'll do that for $4 also. All right, this looks like definitely a bit of a mess. All 
All right, we might have a multi-strand necklace in here. All right, there's one. Oh, that's pretty, a little silver tone rose. No maker marks, it is in good condition. Nice, nice, okay, so it does have an extender. Without it, it's a nine inch drop, that's very pretty. Kind of almost gives it like a vintage feel, even though it's not. We'll do that for five. All right, what is going on with this now? I think I got it. Okay, this says power of three. It's got blue enamel in there. It is just silver tone. Long silver tone chain. It is in very good condition. 12 inches on the drop. We'll do that for five. And then this guy who apparently was a couple strands. Um, I think it goes this way. So you have a little um, pendant with the hearts. Then you have that little heart right there. And then you have, what is this one? Another, a bigger heart. So that's cute, and it's in good condition. It's got an extender. Without it, it's a seven and a half, eight and nine inch drop, $5. All right, let's dig out some more. All right, let's get this out of the way. Let's try to unclasp this guy. All right, got it. So this is actually two necklaces, a super long pink plastic, um, it's got a boo-boo right there. So a dollar on that one. And then you got the bright yellow, so we'll do Eh, we'll do a dollar on that one too. Okay, let's look at this. Ooh, okay, that's gonna be a no. So this would have been really pretty. Oh man, this is an Anne Klein too. Poop. But this has got some definite wear. So that'll be one dollar. I see this peeking out. What's that? Oh, it is native for sure. This is sterling and turquoise. There's no markings on it that I can see, though. Oh, that is definitely sterling. Okay, let's put that aside. Let's all, let's all take a moment and pray for the mate. <laughs> all right. What is this guy? This is actually kind of pretty. I don't know what this is made out of though. It's like, it's almost like paper, but I don't know. The chain looks like it would be sterling, but the clasp is not. Um, so it is a nine inch drop. I think that's really pretty. It reminds me of lily pads. Uh, let's do five on it. We got this one. This is very, well, I shouldn't say very worn. It's got some wear to it. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. Let's unclasp this. It's It's got wear on the clasp. Ooh, I don't think I've ever seen that before. How it has like a design on it. That's really pretty. Um, the chain part of it is actually, actually looks fine. It just has some wear at the clasp. So let's get a measurement. 
It is 18 inches. And we'll do that for $5 since it does have some wear. All right, this is a little gold tone necklace. You have a pink feather, a little like mandala flower. Did I say flower, feather? I don't know what I said. Uh, and then a key. So, oh wait, you got a little owl up here. Let's bring him down with his buddies. That's because he's in a knot. All right, I'm not gonna get that out, but there's a little owl too. It's on a long chain with an extender. We'll do that for five. Okay, let's get the rest of this out of here. Okay, so that's everything. Okay, nothing else in the drawer. More of these beads. Oh, I don't think I see that other earring. Do do. All right, well, let's look at this. This, I think, is just going to be a... Well, it's not magnetic, so let's just look for a marking. I don't see one, so a dollar on that. Um, what's this? This is broken. That's just probably gonna get thrown out. This is, ooh, Avon. It's a cute little heart with a heart through it. Needs to be cleaned off a little bit. It's a seven inch drop, so it is a little bit shorter of a necklace. We'll do five on it. This is silver tone. It's in good shape on the extender. You have these dyed purple shell and the seeds. I think it's like a coconut or seed. I don't know what it is, but it's in good condition. Let me give you a total length on it. It has an extender. It can go from 18 to 20 inches. And we'll do that for five. Another, uh-oh, multi-strand necklace, but it's broken. See? It probably can just get reattached. There's no maker on it. It does, this, this one is very short. Very, very short. You know what, I'll just do, I'll just do $3 on this if somebody wanted to just repurpose with it. Okay. Yeah, we don't have the mate to that earring. That's a real bummer. This is very pretty, purple little flower. It needs to be cleaned up. Um, silver tone, you got all these little acrylic stations here, if I can get it untangled. There we go. Very good condition with an extender. It's a nine inch drop without the extender, $5. Here's another one of these teeny little seed bead bracelets. This one is a little bit bigger. It's four and three fourths inch, so $4 on that. And then lastly, we have this. This is very short. I don't know if it's like a choker. Oh, we're missing some stones. So there's a rhinestone missing there. There's one rhinestone missing, so that'll be craft for a dollar. And that's it. So we don't have the pin to this, which stinks. So that'll be a dollar. We don't have this earring, which is really pretty. So that'll be 50 cents. And this earring we don't have either. That'll be 50 cents. But this earring, let's do a little test. But if this is, you know, just a single earring, then if somebody has like a second hole or third hole or whatever, they want to just have one earring, it is sterling. It's just a little choppy. 
I didn't get a really good scratch. So it's definitely sterling and turquoise. Sleeping Beauty turquoise. It's really pretty. You can probably make it into like a little brooch. So I'm going to do this for $8. I think that's really special. All right. So that's that. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Here is the um, ordering instructions one more time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Give me that thumbs up. Subscribe right here. It's free. Thanks again, and we will see you in the next one.